Good morning, everybody. It's August 24th. We got one month of summer left and uh, kind of happy about that. It's been a weird summer. You know, things open, things closed, things got weird in Southern California, but the bike collection goes on. So this is the August 2021 uh, version of what I have left in my uh, bike stock, I guess we'll call it. We're going to start with a, the latest bike. This is the black label, the state. Uh, it's a full alloy frame with drop stays, uses a full carbon fork, um, sealed hubs, um, threaded bottom bracket. Um, bike is just super cool, a lot of fun, fixed gear. I have one brake on it, as you can see, and it really helps control. If you ever ride fixed, you know, just having that front brake to, to initially slow you down without a brake skid or a back wheel skid, is really ideal so that's why i have the front brake on i really like it bike's super light uh naked the bike's 17 pounds with everything that i have on it pedals light everything we're, we're tipping the scales at 19 pounds so it added about two pounds especially with that seat bag okay the second bike is another state this is the state so it's a 4130 chromoly frame and fork um, I believe the gears are a 1646 or 4616. So why do I like this bike? Well, one, the colorway. The colorway is just brilliant, especially with the chrome rims and cranks and, you know, accessories. Uh, fabric saddle, a Lazine bag in the back. This one uses a cat eye computer, uh, which I really like these mini cat eyes. Uh, a Lazine front headlight, which just is super strong. I think it's 180 looms. So uh, Tektro brakes, and these brake levers are super smooth. Um, use old cloth tape on it. Have really cool uh, bar, in, um, bar plugs on it, and they come out really nice. SPD, um, I'm sorry, SL SPD pedal. So they're a uh, composite pedal. Really, really like the bike. Uh, it's the bike I usually ride in the evening because it has a front and rear headlight. Um, but it's also a bike I just like cruising around on. Okay, I've got another State 4130 Chromoly Frame and Fork. This is the Army Green. And I got it only because of the color. And uh, I fell in love with the color. This, this green is just super cool. Um, I put a Roadrunner front bag on it. There's no rear bag on it. It has the same cat eye computer. Uh, this one is using the exact same wheels except they're painted black. Uh, sealed hubs, uh, threaded bottom bracket, fabric saddle. Um, it's set up identical except um, it came with its stock handlebars which had a funky bend to them. Um, and then I used some really cheap levers but I finally got the modulation to work a lot better. And I was just stretching out the cable and adjusting the calipers or the rim brakes. This one has look pedals. The accents are red. And uh, the gold on the sidewalls of the Continental Ultra Sports, I think, really set off the bike. It had tan walls, which is actually a better colorway, but those tires just suck big time, so I took them off. Uh, my Trek Imanda ALR4. Um... This is an alloy bike with a carbon fork. So what are the highlights? Tiagra 10 speed, hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, the Affinity TLR rims are super smooth. Um, Montro saddle, a Lazine rear bag on it. This one has my Wahoo computer, a Wahoo Mini, which you don't see too many out there anymore because a lot of people are complaining about them. Um, my GoPro session. Uh, which has been an excellent, excellent, excellent uh, camera for me. So I really love this bike. It's uh, my only true road bike with gears on it. I used to have several, as you guys know, if you watch my videos. Okay, and my best bike I have currently is my Cervelo Sparrow. Um, it has a SRAM Apex drivetrain on it. Uh, hydraulic disc brakes, Donnelly 700 by 40 C tires, um, obviously uh, hydraulic uh, disc brakes, uh, power saddle on it, Cervelo's version, Easton accessories. Um, I have a zip top tube bag, 
I got a speed sleeve front handlebar bag and a speed sleeve rear bag on it. So uh, this bike set up pretty sweet. Um, if I put my road tires on it, man, this thing's just as fast as anything else I can get. Uh, so it's a super versatile bike. Um, I like the sweep on the bars. I like the way the bars are bent. They're just bent beautifully. They're Easton bars. Uh, and they're the perfect gravel bar. Uh, and the tape on them is just excellent. So guys, these are my uh, one, two, three, four, five bikes that I currently own. Um, and there might be one new bike coming in the stable. Um, I finally found a decent mountain bike that I think I might keep, as you guys, you guys can all see. I'm a roadie at heart, and uh, I like skinny tire bikes, except for my uh, my gravel bike. But I finally got a set of tires that uh, work really well on it. And uh, I got some Gravel King 700 by 32s, uh, and they got a smoother tread on them. So if I'm doing anything fast paced and I just want to be on my carbon lightweight bike, that's the bike I'm going to go with. If I'm in a group ride with some semi-fast old guys like me, then I ride my track. And then when I'm solo, I'm on my states, man. And I know, guys, the states aren't the greatest bikes in the world. But you know what? They're available. They've got great customer service. The bikes are, are well built. The only complaint I have about state is when, and I think it's any bike manufacturer, when the bikes get delivered in a box, those wheels aren't true. You know, I think Canyon is the only one that sends bikes with true wheels. But State is notorious for not sending their bikes with true wheels. And I think that's something because every box is always opened, you know. I don't know why they just can't pull the wheels out, start truing up their wheels, man. State, if you're listening, true your wheels before you send your bikes out. It really, you know, it, it's a really great customer service. And in all honesty... If you want the bike to be ridden or should be able to be ridden immediately out of the box, then true your wheels, guys. You know, I don't expect air in the tires, but I expect my wheels to be true. You know, because the average cost of a true to get a wheel trued is 25 bucks. So what are we looking at? 25, 50, 75, uh, 100, 150 dollars of tire wheels here that have to be trued. Okay, guys, so uh, please, true, true, true your wheels. Anyways, guys, enough of my sermon. I hope you guys enjoyed my bikes. Um, this afternoon, I'm going to go check out a Scott. I believe it's the 940 alloy frame with a Suntour fork. So that's air and spring. Um, but Suntour's come a long way. Um, why do I want it? Just because I need a, a, a decent mountain bike that's not over 30 pounds that could beat up. And uh, Scott has some really, really good deals on the bikes. They, you know, they're kind of like the Fuji of Germany. They uh, make decent bikes with their own component or their own uh, accessories on it at a really fair price. So I'm going to go check out Scott at InCycle and see how that goes. Okay, guys, talk to you all soon.